Okay guys, October 1st, 2017. As of right now, this is the only public advisory and it's for the North Atlantic, Caribbean Sea, and the Gulf of Mexico. This is a trough of low pressure that extends from the eastern Gulf of Mexico across portions of Florida is producing an area of disorganized showers and thunderstorms and gusty winds near the east coast of central and northern Florida. Although development of this system is not expected due to strong upper level winds, gusty winds are locally, are, and locally heavy rains are likely to continue over portions of northeastern Florida and southeastern Georgia throughout tonight. Please see statements from local National Weather Service forecast offices for additional information. So that's the only thing we have right now, and that's the tropical storm that's moving over Florida right now. But there are three areas that you need to look out for. And the first one, and probably the, the most important that you need to look out for, is right where all these previous hurricanes have come in through. Sorry, Harvey, um, Maria, Irma, Katia, all, or not Katia, but all these that are coming from... Um, Africa, the, this the area right here is just holding a lot of moisture. Is, I don't even know why they ha don't have this on the, the map yet. It, it's still not 11. I guess by the time I get this uploaded, it'll probably be 11 and I'll have the, uh, the map updated. But I'm going to switch it over to the water vapor loop because you can actually see the rotation a little bit better. And if you see right there, that is something to watch out for. It is already starting to rotate. It's been rotating for a couple days now, but it hasn't really condensed. You can see that it's that air, the central point of rotation is bringing in all of that moisture from that storm to the south of it, the southeast. It's dragging it up. Some of it's being projected out behind it because of the centrifugal forces, but it looks like it's picking up a lot of the moisture, and that's the same exact spot, the track that all these previous major hurricanes have started to form. And it's already halfway across the Atlantic, and it's just now starting to pick up good rotation. So if it's picking up that much rotation as it's starting to get towards these islands, the, I think the Leeward Islands, and it's picking up all this stuff down here at the same time. These people in these islands might not have uh, an idea of what's happening because if you look on the National Hurricane Center's uh, homepage, they don't show this. The only thing they show is the tropical storm above Florida. And that they're saying that's only a 1% chance of forming into a tropical cyclone in the next two days, I think. but. If you look down here, directly above the Yucatan Peninsula, you can see a central eye forming right there. Just because there's nothing to the west of this, doesn't mean that this isn't gonna form into a hurricane, because you can see to the southeast of it, uh, the east side of the Yucatan Peninsula, all that storm right there is popping up and it's getting sucked in to the, that central area of rotation. And that's because that area of low pressure is coming down from the north uh, through the Gulf and it's pushing over um, Mexico and all that. So that's why it's kind of creating a little eddy right there. And we'll just have to keep watching it the next day or two, or tonight. Um, I guarantee probably tonight, if it doesn't push any further over land, this will have a red X over it. And then right here, you can see that too, there's another area of rotation and it's not formed yet. Like I said, it's not on the map yet, but there is definitely going to be a red X there in the next day or two. And once it moves, the only reason it's not formed into a nice cyclone yet is because the central area of rotation is over land. So all the, the mountainous areas are causing a disturbance in the, the wind fields. And once it, it moves away, maybe in between these islands, it's gonna keep picking up all that moisture. And you can see that the area of rotation itself is on the same track that all these hurricanes have been taking. So these two right here, 
these are following the same exact track of all these major hurricanes. So you need to watch out for those in the next couple of days. And also this one here in the Gulf because if the, if the winds don't take it further south over land mass, and if, if, if it follows like a counter or a clockwise rotation up the Mexican coast up to Texas, like I think it will, it could stay in the, the middle of the Gulf for a few days picking up uh, all the moisture in the whole area but I'm not a meteorologist I, I just kind of look at these radar images the loops and I just kind of use common sense to see where things are going and how things are interacting but you can see there's clearly three areas of major rotation and the one major one that we want to look out for is this one right here because it has ample time to to grow and form a gigantic cyclone. I mean, it's the area of rotation already is massive. It's already the size of uh, the last four hurricanes that have went through that area. So, and it still has a lot of time to pick up intensity. So I just wanted to let you guys know that. And also starting today, hopefully tonight before 12, I'm going to be starting Strange Weather Month for October, so if you have any any stories about uh, freak storms popping up out of nowhere or, or anything like that, I'm going to leave my email address in the description. You can email me a video or a picture or just a story and I'll put it in the, the daily stories that I'm going to be doing.